We know that we face, as we meet here today in Amsterdam, unprecedented challenges. They're largely interlinked, and that climate change is at the top of the list, but by no means the only issue. Climate change, energy, uh, and even the economy are three aspects, actually, of a very, very solid interrelated system that uh, we might call the socio-economic political system that governs our lives. Nowadays, we are understanding that the faults, the defaults, the mistakes, the wrong structure of the past have now been stressed, confirmed by the financial crunch. I think uh, the root cause is greed, probably. Uh, Short-term thinking. Um, I mean, people don't look further than a couple of years. They just want to have more and more and more. It's, it's also the uh, people are addicted to consume. The problem is very severe, it is getting worse, that is what the science is telling us. There is a very rapid melt of the, the, the Himalaya glaciers and this leads to food shortages in India and in Africa. Part of my work is really at the local level to do conflict assessments with uh, people from local government. What is the real cause of conflict, etc. And something that always comes up is it's the drought that is uh, causing um, food insecurity, which causes fighting. It's the lack of resources, lack of water, which has caused conflicts between different uh, communities. We are in this boat together. There's only one small, beautiful planet Earth. Uh, unless we can develop more rockets to take us to the moon or to Mars or to other planets, we're going to survive here. The choice is ours, or to take care of ourselves and the planet, or to risk the destruction of ourselves and the diversity of life. We all have a responsibility towards our children and our grandchildren, in the same way that our parents had a responsibility to us. And the key problem is, that we weren't aware that the world is not just available for us to use it and to exploit it and by doing that bring it down, but that in fact we need a creative partnership with nature itself. So you and I should go for a, for a, a, a climate neutral lifestyle, which includes technology, but it starts with your own attitude and ethical changes. The Earth Charter is a integrated framework for human dignity. The Earth Charter is about uh, making one responsible. Responsible for one's own welfare, but for the whole world's welfare too. Another thing that the Earth Charter uh, recognizes is common responsibilities. The Earth Charter it was a missing chapter in the complete picture of the international treaties. And therefore the Earth Charter should be the complete, uh, the, the beautiful umbrella principle to get this all done. I'm not sure that I would be right in saying that we all have hope. But I think a large part of humanity could still survive and have decent lives, fulfilling lives, if they were to start reversing what they're doing right now. <laughs>